What's going on, everyone? I am Andrew, the YouTuber critic at View Games, movies, YouTubers, TV series, and streamers. And how long has it been since I did an actual review? I've been doing these quick reviews. Again, there's my Splash Bands, there's my Lion Mom stuff that I truly need to work better on. Uh, get my story time from three months ago, and oh, it was during my rip of food fight. <gasps> But anyways, let's move on to a lighter note, because I think it's been a long while, and this is a review that I've been pushing back for way, way, way too long now. I am reviewing my good VTuber friend, Spadra, and she is a variety streamer. I really need to stretch my boundaries when it comes to these uh, VTuber slash streamer reviews. <laughs> But she's mainly focused on Genshin Impact at times, but as of late, she's been trying to complete Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I've actually been playing it myself, and I will try to do a quick review of it down the road. But not a quick review, a first thoughts video. This shows how long it's been since I've done an actual review. <laughs> so, who is Phaedra? She is a cat goddess. Yeah. <laughs> With one of the most adorable models I've ever seen. Makes me want to hug her. <laughs> yeah. Plus, when I've been making these announcements about Spadra, this her review, <laughs> Spadra herself actually said, Oh, I better blind react to it. I'm like, ah! <laughs> She's making me nervous making this review right now. This is showing how much she likes to interact with her viewers, her fans. This is just showing. How much she loves them, and woohoo! Already making me so nervous, I wish I had a caffeinated beverage. But yet, I drank all of my uh, caffeinated uh, sodas. <laughs> so, making me nervous right now. But, uh, I gotta get my honesty thought. But yeah, like I said, when she reacted and told me she was gonna blind react, my mind just went crazy. But this also shows how much she appreciates her fans. And that's what I like about some of these streamers who understand their their fan base, their audience. As long as they don't go too far, they can be some of the best people around. And I appreciate Spadra for actually knowing. Because she knows what she's doing with her audience, especially with all of her redeems. Especially one with her, uh, I believe it's her husband? Boyfriend? Oh god, it's been a while since I had confirmation. Oh uh, I man, I don't want to know Spadra right now, because this review has been a long time coming! But she does have routines where her uh, boyfriend slash husband will, will actually uh, give her an IRL BONK! To be honest, I have deserved this! But yeah, she has worked hard a lot during all of her videos. Well, streams. And I may not watch them a lot, but she shows great personality when talking to her audience. And she truly cares about them, like I've been saying. I've been, how much am I going to repeat myself about her being adorned to her fans? To her people? Who to the people who are part of her Discord? <laughs> Man, to be honest, this is one of the most confusing reviews I've ever done, but yet, at the same time, this is what intrigues me when I'm doing these kinds of reviews. It really makes me dive deep into these people, the people behind the VTuber models, seeing how well their personalities are. While behind the scenes, not in front of the whole camera. But yet, at the same time, it's like most of the time, they're collabing together. Both the real life personality and the VTuber personalities combined together. And Spadra is one of the best examples of those two worlds colliding together. And to be honest, that's one of the best parts of Spadra. She works hard, not just in front of the camera for Twitch, but also for you, for the fans who watch this, her. And I'm sure she's going to be like right now watching me like, Critic, just calm down. You're all right. You're doing okay. So, yeah. Because that's the kind of patience Phaedra is. She is understanding. 
And like I said, I believe that ties with her real life personality as well. Because of the few times I talked with her on Twitter, on Discord, through her Discord channel, she showed a lot of great personality, like showing her true self. And like I said, both at times, it's like the VTuber personality and the real life personality are just like both positive and positive or negative and negative and don't really combine together. But Spadra is one of those people who combine those worlds together, like I said earlier. So, for understanding her audience, being a great person, and of course, truly interacting, even though she may be playing Genshin most of the time. Yes, I am not a fan of Genshin. Don't judge me. I'll talk about it on a later date. But I give Spadra a 4.5 out of 5. Now, if you excuse me, I got a bird to take care of and make sure the cat goddess doesn't get to him. Ain't that right, Puckle? Yeah, bro. <laughs> but until next time, make sure you guys subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, and make sure you guys follow Spadra on Twitch. Her streams do appear at random because I don't think she has an appropriate schedule. I could be wrong because I haven't been paying attention all that much because I've been working all over. <laughs> but until next time, I am Andrew. I review games, movies, YouTubers, TV series, and streamers as the critic. The YouTuber critic. And I'll see you all next time. So, Paco, what do you think about cats? Oh, really? I know, I know, I haven't stopped the video yet. Think of it as like a, a little end banter, don't you think? What'd you say?